Just and loyal, those patient Hufflepuffs are unafraid to toil. Welcome to your Hufflepuff appreciation day, your 30 minute-ish workout. All you guys are gonna need are some sliders. So we're using like all the Abala equipment today. So you got sliders, we got hand weights, we've got the ring, option to add on ankle weights or wrist weights. I'm not gonna show that for you right now. I gotta get through three more of these, so go ahead and add on what weights you would like onto what body part, and we're gonna get started. Okay, so we're gonna get started in a plank hold. So you're gonna come on down to those forearms, and we're gonna start with it on those toes. Option to bring it down to those knees if you wish, but I want you to start with those toes down on that mat. You can have that slider over by your feet, so you can have that prepped and ready to go for the next move. But we have patient planks. Hufflepuffs are extremely patient creatures. I have so many wonderful Hufflepuffs in my life. So, shoulders and elbows are stacked. You can separate those palms out. I want you to tuck that tailbone, pull the belly button in, and just hang out, be patient in this. Remember, option, be patient with yourself. Bring it down to those knees if you need to. But just hold, breathe. Good. Adjusting my music levels. So we're squeezing here from that core. Just that lovely patient plank. What a way to start, right? Option to come up to those toes, but we're gonna come up onto those hands. Toes are gonna go to that slider in three, two, one. Come on up to those hands. You're on those toes, back into a plank, but you're up on those hands. Shoulders are stacked, roll the shoulder blades down, press away from the mat. Now, from that lower body, you're gonna bend the knees. We got badger crawls, so that badger move, you bend the knees underneath the hips. You're in that tabletop position. <sighs> exhale as you send it out. Or oh, sorry, exhale as you pull it in. <laughs> and inhale as you send it on out. Lost it all, guys. Whew. Good, exhale to pull it in. Inhale to send it on out. Keeping strong in that upper body. There you go. Nice and easy, right? Upper body starting to feel it, which means we've got upper body next. That's what's coming up next. You're gonna stick with me. You're gonna grab your small weights, so your lighter weights. In three, two, one. Good. Taking those slider away. We got huffle buffs, so we got bicep curls. You're standing up nice and tall, elbows are in, palms are gonna face up here, and you're going to bicep curl. And in, extend it all the way out. We're gonna have some fun with these curls. So I want you to have a soft bend in the knees, even weight through both feet, so I don't want you to pop into one hip. Badgers are very strong, sturdy creatures. You wanna pull that belly button in, knit your rib cage, Roll your shoulder blades back and down. Flex through those biceps. Curling it in and slowly sending it right back out. Good. Getting that little buff going on, huffle buff right here. We're gonna hold it all the way up in three, two, one. Hold it all the way in. Squeeze through those biceps, shoulders are down. You're gonna bring it halfway down, all the way up. Halfway down all the way up. Flex through those biceps, squeeze up at the top. Just that half range of motion, you're not coming down all the way. Good. You're gonna meet me down halfway in three, two, one. Meet it down halfway, we're gonna open it up. So now the hands are out to the side and you're gonna curl all the way down. Curl all the way up. So now you're in this wide bicep curl. Woo! Now do me a favor here. I want you to squeeze those elbows into the rib cage. Squeezing it in, and I want you to go slow. Imagine there's that tension there. 
So you want to create tension by going slower in both directions. You're just doing full range. We're not going to do anything crazy, but we are going to hug a huffle puff next. We're going to open up those arms. Give that huffle puff a big hug in three, two, one. Open those arms up. Shoulders are down away from those ears. Core is engaged. Soft bend in those elbows. Hug a huffle puff. Open it right back up. Hugging that huffle puff in. Huffle puffs give some of the best hugs. I have to say, I love hug hugging my huffle puffs. I want you to squeeze through that chest. I know, and huffle puffs are so golden. They wear that bright yellow so well. I'm starting to love that yellow too. Squeeze through that chest, open it up, squeeze it in. Whew. We're feeling so good right here. Almost done with this move. We're gonna honor one of our fallen Hufflepuffs, Cedric Diggory with Tri-Wizard Triceps. So you're gonna bring those arms in and we're gonna hinge it forward in three, two, one. Hinge it forward, so bend in those knees, hinge at the hips, elbows in. Tri-Wizard Triceps, so bend and extend, starting off with that sexy back move, bend and extend. Good, squeeze, keep going. Excuse me. So you're bending and extending those elbows. You're squeezing it in. So try wizard triceps. That means there's three sets of triceps here. You want to squeeze the elbows into the rib cage so that you feel those triceps engage, the lats engage. Palms are going to face in just to start because we are going to change it up here. Good. We're gonna hold it straight back in three, two, one. Hold it straight back, pull, uh, flip the palms up. You're gonna stay hinged over. You're gonna pull the hands farther back, try to touch those thumbs and bring it back. So this is a chest opener we're doing at this angle. So the hands are trying to pull back behind you, trying to touch the thumbs together. Pulling that belly button in towards the spine. Arm stays super straight. They relax for a second down by those hips. And then we squeeze, pull it on back. Good. Whew. Almost down here, guys. My puffs. We're gonna hold it all the way back in three, two, one. Hold it all the way back, good. From here, I want you to straight arm pulse up and up. Straight arm pulse up and up. Squeeze up from those triceps. This is the last tricep. Try wizard triceps right here. We're gonna bring it into that ball of ring. We got some mandrake pulls in three, two, one. Herbology class, so grab that ball of ring. I want you to hinge at those hips again. And imagine you're pulling a mandrake out of the floor, out of its pot, just like Professor Sprout. So I want you to go with a little bit faster pace. You want to pull hard and then slowly release down. So pull hard, squeeze the shoulder blades, slowly release down. Changing it up just a bit with our pace, with our tempo. Good. Squeeze those shoulder blades back. Whew, pull that belly button in towards that spine. Yeah, nice job, everyone. Squeeze the shoulder blades back. Can you squeeze? Get that big pull. I know those mandrakes are a little stubborn. You gotta really pull in quickly to release them from those pots so that we can repot them for Professor Sprout. Pull that belly in. Nice job, everyone. We get to hold it all the way in, in three, Two, one, hold it in, good. Squeeze those shoulder blades back. Now pulse those arms back and back. Tiny pulse. We're gonna come up. We got Helga Hufflepuff Cup Squats in three, two, one. Come on up, you're gonna hold that weight here. You're gonna widen those feet out just a bit, just wider than shoulder width. Point the toes slightly out, and we're gonna squat down. Sinking into the heels. So you want to sit that booty back. You're holding Helga's cup and you're pressing up. I know her cup's not this big. We're gonna imagine it is. I personally thought it was so much bigger. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I was reading when I was a kid. But you're pushing those hips back 
and down. Notice with those knees, they don't cave in, they press out the whole time. You press through the heels to lift you up. You're pulling that belly button in towards that spine. Nice, shoulders are down, away from those ears. Press up, squeeze. Drop that booty back and down, press up and squeeze. As you guys know, there's always something fun coming up. We get to hold it low in three, two, one. Hold it low, keep that core engaged. From here, I want you to pulse that body up an inch, down to tiny pulses here. Drive through those heels, yeah. Can you feel that shake, feel that burn? We're warming up those quads, those glutes. Here we go, we're gonna grab that slider. Option, you can keep this ring. We're not gonna do anything fancy with it. You're gonna drop it off in three, two, one. Good, come on up. Ditch that ring, grab a slider. We're gonna start off with our left leg. We have loyalty lunges. Oh yes, our puffs are super loyal. So you're gonna keep that right foot on the slider. Woo. Feet are hip width distance apart. Deeply bend your left knee, lunge it down. Then dig through the left heel, lift yourself up. Woo. You can see where my body starts to sway a bit. So I want you to squeeze the inner thighs. Pull that belly button in towards the spine. Dig through that left heel to lift you back up. Remember, right leg is gonna stay straight the whole time. Digging into that left heel, square off those hips. So can you squeeze your right glute for me? Squeezing that right glute helps level off the hips. Keep them loyal. So be loyal to yourself. Make sure you're not cheating yourself in this move. Going slow. <sighs> Squeeze it up at the top, then push it all the way back and down. <sighs> nice job, everyone. We get to hold it all the way down in three, two, one. Hold it all the way down for me. Squeeze that right glute. Now you're gonna pull that right knee in. Ooh, and then send it all the way out. Yeah, that lunge right here, pulling that back leg in. Everything's gonna stay steady in that left leg because just like Hubble Puffs, it stays steady. It's always there for you. It's nice and strong. Okay, we're gonna hold that right leg in in three, two, one. Hold that right leg in. Sink your body down a bit more. Keep that chest lifted and we're gonna pulse our body up. And down, so my shoulders and hips are a bit more stacked. My right knee's underneath my hip. I'm pressing everything into my left heel to lift me up and down, controlling me. We hold it low in three, two, one. Good, hold it there. Now I'll send that right leg all the way out to straight. Hinge forward, full ranges in three, two, one. Good, all the way up and then hinge it right back down. Last couple seconds here. We're gonna bring it into some kindness kickbacks. I know, they kind of contradict each other. We're bringing it down to those forearms in three, two, one, so bring it down. Okay, so right knee's down, left heel's gonna curl in, forearms are down on that mat. Curling that heel in, pull the belly button in towards the spine. You're gonna kick that heel up and up. So if you got those ball ankle weights on, this should feel fantastic right about now. You're feeling that gluten hamstring really fire up. Ooh. Your gaze is directly down, so you wanna keep it long from the crown of the head down to that tailbone. <sighs> Pulling that belly in. Drive that heel up towards the sky. Notice, my heel's in as tight as I can get it to my booty, and then as my knee lifts up, I don't open my hip up. It stays in line the whole time. My lower back doesn't arch. I pull that belly in, squeezing up from that core. Good, we're gonna hold it up in three, two, one. Hold it up right there, hold, hold, hold. Send the leg all the way out to straight, and straight leg pulses up and up. We're gonna bring that left knee to meet the right. We're gonna come up to the tops of the knees in three, two, one. Bring that knee down, come on up. Okay, option here, you can take that ball of ring, add on some extra weight. I'm gonna do it for this one. Ooh, excuse me, you're gonna quad stretch it out. So you're gonna lean it back and then bring it forward. Ooh, 
Press those shins, those feet to the mat. Leaning it back, bring it back up to that position. So shoulders, hips, and knees are in line the whole time. We lean back, hinging from those knees, only going as far as our back lets us. Hufflepuffs, I don't say this like it's a bad thing, but you guys bend over backwards for your friends, and that's amazing. It's a marvelous trait. That's what makes you you. <laughs> and that's kind of what this move symbolizes, us leaning back, Woo! and then bringing it right back over. Woo! My butt, man. <laughs> Look at that. Squeeze up. Knit that rib cage together. I want you to pull that belly button in. Keep your chest lifted. Whoop. I let my weight go. That's fine. I want to show you guys the form of that lean back and that lift up. You squeeze that booty together. You pull that belly button in towards that spine. Guess what? We got a right leg to work. We got to bring it back to the other side. Forearms go down. Right knee goes up in three, two, one, good. Forearms down. Curl that right heel in towards that booty. From there, you know the drill. Kick it up, kindness kicks. Lifting it up. Pulling that belly button in towards that spine. The tighter that heel is in towards that glute, the more you're gonna feel that glute work. Pulling that belly in. Focusing on that lift of the leg. It doesn't have to be up very high. It's only as far as your hip flexor, your back will let you. Good, now I want you to knit that rib cage together. Pull that belly in, yeah. Beautiful job, everyone. Get ready for it. We got that variation coming up here very quickly. Can you curl that heel in a little bit tighter? Can you pull that belly in a little bit more? We're gonna hold it all the way up in three, two, one, hold it all the way up, extend that leg out, don't let the leg drop. Straight leg, pulse it up and down. Tiny pulses, loyalty lunges are next. Bring it up in three, two, one. Woo. Bring it on up. Ooh, now this time, left foot's gonna go on the slider. Right foot ooh, is on that floor. Starting off with those feet, stupid. <laughs> That rings in the way. So the feet are gonna be hip width distance apart. Keeping that hip width distance, keep that heel lifted. I want you to lunge it down. Squeeze the left glute, square off the hips. Yeah, there you go. Dig through that right heel to lift you up. Slow and controlled. Everything comes from that right leg. Just like loyal, dedicated Hufflepuffs, that right leg is always there for you to lift you up. The hamstring lifts and does the work. So hamstring's the back of the leg. That little bubble back here. Woo. Warming it up. It's already warm though, let's be real. Pull that belly in. Now don't forget about that left glute. We just did those kickbacks. You should be feeling that left glute. The more you squeeze it, the more the hips get squared forward. The deeper we get into, into that lunge, that ring keeps getting in the way. Drive up from that heel, squeeze up. Now check in with that core. What's it doing? Is it falling forward? Can you pull it in? Can you level off those hips? Nice, good, drive up, drive up, drive up, drive up, drive up. Whew. Bring it all the way back down. Beautiful job, everyone. Oh, you guys know it, there's no surprises here. We get to hold it down all the way in three, two, one. Hold it down all the way. Get down one more inch, and we're gonna take that left leg, bring it in, that loyalty kick right here. Pulling that slider in, pulling that left knee and sending it right back out. Can you stabilize through those hips? Can you squeeze up from the inner thighs? Connecting up into that lower core. They all work together. <sighs> Fantastic job. We're gonna hold it halfway in in three, two, one. Hold it halfway in. I want you to lift your torso up so your hips and shoulders are stacked. Sink down a little lower and then come all the way up and down. That pulse right here in this isometric lunge, this, I lie, it's not really isometric. Isometric means holding. You just get to pulse your body up and down. You squeeze up from that lower core. Everything's happening from that right heel, pressing and lifting you up, controlling you back down. Whew. We're gonna bring it all the way down in three, two, 
One, bring it all the way down. Send the left leg out to straight. Hinge your torso forward. Full range in three, two, one. Lift it up. Ooh, last couple seconds here. You're gonna grab your ring again. Option to always use the lighter weights. We have dedicated deadlifts. See what I did there? You're gonna grab that ball of ring in three, two, one. Ditch that slider. You do not need it. Okay, grabbing that ball of weight. Now I want your feet to be about shoulder width. I'm gonna turn from the side. I'm gonna hold the ball up from side to side. Hinge at the hips, push that booty back. Glide that ring down the shins and then bring it all the way back up. So a little bit more stiff leg deadlift. So soft bend in the knees. I want you to feel this stretch in the hamstrings. Back is flat. Only go as far as your back will let you. So once you start to feel that curl, that pull in the lower back, that means you gotta stop. So if it's right here to the knees, up, that's fine. If you can see, if you can challenge that range, pushing with the tush to bring you all the way back up to standing. Whew. This is the last leg move. Obliques is next. I want you to roll those shoulder blades down and away from those ears. Hinge from those hips. Ooh, lift it up. There you go. Hinge from those hips, nice and flat in the back. Soft bend in those knees. Notice my hips go way past my heels. That way we get that deep stretch, that hinge in the hips, like you're trying to press your butt back to a wall. Dedicate a deadlift. Dedicate your time, your focus to this form. That stretch and then that pull up. Woo. Guys, we're almost done with it. You have to lay down on your back next. You're gonna place the ring to your side. We're gonna lay down on our backs in three, two, one. Good, place that ring down. Lay down on your back. We got vicious V-ups because our lovely puffs are pretty vicious sometimes. So I want you to spread out like you're in this big star position. And you're gonna bring one foot, one leg up, alternating sides. So left hand to right foot, opening it up, right hand to left foot. So single side V-ups, but they're a little vicious. Let's be real. V-ups aren't always the fan favorite. Whew. But you're lifting up, squeezing up, bringing it down, lifting it up. One of the wonderful traits of our puffs is they can be a little vicious, but that's just because they're fighting for us. <sighs> Pull that belly button in. Good, you can use that opposite arm to help lift you up. We're giving about 15 more seconds here. You're gonna grab that ball of ring again. If you got those ankle weights on, I'm sure they're feeling really lovely right about now. <sighs> But we're gonna sit up on that tailbone. You're gonna grab your ring in three, two, one. Come on up. Okay, take that weight, plant your feet, and you're gonna lean it back. Weight is to counterbalance you, then you crunch up. You're gonna twist to the right only. Bring it back to center. Lean it back, crunch up to the right only. Notice I'm only twisting to the right side. Squeeze your inner thighs. So I want you to squeeze your knees together. And then crunch up, twist over to that right side. Good, pull that belly button in. So when you squeeze your knees together, it relays up into the lower core. Or we're squeezing into the inner thighs, into the lower core. Good. Whew. Okay, so we're gonna bring it into a side torso crunch. We're gonna call it newts feeding. So we're gonna bring it down onto that left knee. You can ditch the weight in three, two, one. I'm actually gonna switch up my weights. I'm gonna take the three pound. Left knee's down, right leg's out to the side. Right arm's gonna reach out, left hand holds the waist. You're gonna hinge over and then lift up. So I call this one Newt's feeding, because I imagine this is what he's doing a lot of the time, either reaching down, trying to reach up towards one of his magical creatures. The weight adds that challenge. 
And our lovely Newt is a Hufflepuff as well. So we're admiring our fellow Puff here. Working that oblique, pull that belly button in, tuck that tailbone. So when you tuck that tailbone, it sends it into the right oblique, lift up. Knit that rib cage together, good. Shoulder locks down into that socket. We got this. Lift up, hinge it over, lift it right back up. Good. We got a little bit more newt to bring it with us. We're gonna bring it down, windmill those arms down. You're gonna meet me in a full plank hold in three, two, one. Okay, bring those hands down. Feet are gonna be in that plank, hands are in that plank. So once again, we're gonna honor Newt here. We got Newt's crawl, so you're gonna bring that right knee to the elbow, bring it out to left knee to the elbow, bring it out. If you've watched Fantastic Beasts, done your research on Newt, he does all these weird things to attract his creatures, to connect with them. So I'm pretty sure he used this one trying to attract one of his magical creatures. Not only does that, but it works those obliques. Good, pull that belly button in towards that spine. Guys, we are almost there. We gotta work it backwards. We're gonna go into that left oblique. You're gonna grab your weight. Newt's feeding in three, two, one. So right knee goes down. Left leg's gonna reach out. Right hand holds the waist, left arm reaches up, and you're gonna hinge over at that hip. Remember, you're trying to either reach down into that well for food or reach it up to feed one of Newt's creatures. I'm totally blanking on Newt's little assistant that helped him. It starts with a B. I've lost it, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> We're thinking of that assistant job we get with Newt. Working the left oblique to lift us up, pulling that belly button in towards the spine. <sighs> nice job, everyone. Good. Knit that rib cage together. We're almost there. Stick with me. A couple more seconds here. <sighs> We're gonna grab that weight again, the heavier weight. We got that super crunch with a twist. <sighs> Bring it up in three, two, one. Good. So you're gonna sit down on that booty. Grab that weight and you're going to hinge back and this time remember crunch up twist to the left only. So just that super twist to the left. Good. Leaning it back. So think of those puffs. Leaning it back. Pull that belly button in. Twisting over to that left side. Squeezing the left oblique. Guys, we only have one more move left. <sighs> Because our puffs are super, super fun. We've got a dancing badger, because I'm pretty sure once they're comfortable, when they're in their common room, they're there dancing, let's be real. They're having a good old time, a party in that common room. Pull that belly button in. You're gonna grab that slider. Bring those hands to the floor in three, two, one, good. Dancing badger, so hands are on the floor, toes are in that slider. Good, so from here you're gonna twist your knees off to one side, pull the knees into the right elbow, point the knees down, send it out, then twist the knees over to the other side, pull it in, point it down. So you notice how you're dancing from side to side, pointing down in the center, Whew. pull into the other side, point down. Good. Twist from side to side. Yeah, there you go. Twist it over, draw it in, point it down. We're almost there. Dance it. Okay, last move. What everyone's been waiting for, what everyone's sad about, Cedric's pose. Bring it down in three, two, one. Toes together, knees up, heart. Rest it down. Okay, just take those deep breaths in and out. 
and then sit up onto those heels. We're gonna sit up nice and tall here. We're gonna take that left hand, bring it down to that hip, right arm. I want you to reach it up and over. Get this big arch through the right side of the body. Breathe in and out. Inhale, bring that hand up. Right hand comes down, left arm reaches up and over. Press that left side out, get that big arch. Good, then bring it back. We're gonna bring it into a tabletop position. From here, I want you to give me a couple cat and cows. So arch the spine, pull that belly button in, then round it, press away from the floor, look at those thighs. Moving with your breath, getting some movement through that spine. Good, and then come to a nice flat tabletop back. Tuck those toes. We're gonna press it up and back, downward facing, badger. And then bend one knee at a time. Taking that little walk the badger move, getting into those calves and hamstrings. Good, then very slowly walk yourself in to that deep forward fold. And then when you're ready, roll up one vertebra at a time. Inhale those arms up to center. Exhale in all those kindness, Hufflepuff vibes. And have a magical day, everyone.